Hi everyone, I'm Georges Saint-Pierre. Welcome to my Rush Fit warm-up. This program has been designed by Eric Owens. The Rush Fit warm-up is a multifaceted warm-up that uses only body weight motions and allows you to work every muscle of your body in a functional manner to get you ready for the work to come in the rounds. So let's not waste too much time, guys. Let's go and get started here with a shoulder width stance, and we're just gonna do some torso twists. So as you notice, I wanna get my elbows up about shoulder height. They can dip down a little bit, that's okay. And I pick a good pivot point on the ground. I wanna rotate back and forth. Imagine that my elbows, if there's a line, just about going about 180 degrees, if there's a sphere here, right? I don't wanna go too far. I don't wanna go all the way around here. I don't wanna injure myself. Because remember, we're just warming up. We're trying to get the body loose, core temperature up, so we don't injure ourselves, and we're ready for the work to come. The body is like an elastic. If you try to stretch an elastic when it's cold, it's gonna snap. If you try to stretch it when it's warm, now you're gonna be able to play with it. Now we're doing each exercise for 60 seconds. So right now we have about 10 seconds left, and then we're gonna switch and go into our next exercise, which is a side bend. Let's keep going though, guys. We have about five seconds. All right, good job. So now here in our stance, we're just gonna lean to one side, kicking our hip out, reaching over, then going to the other side. This is a side bend, and what we don't wanna do is we don't wanna bend forward and then over. We wanna keep our body stacked, meaning knee, hip, shoulder, everything in alignment. We let the hip kick out to the side and we reach. This is gonna be stretching the muscles of the hips and of the lats. And this is a very important movement pattern in most functional fitness and in fighting. You have to be able to move side to side as well as forward and backwards. Like every other exercise, you start slowly and you try to pick it up as time goes on. Now we have about 20 seconds left in this. And also work at your own rate. If you find you're starting to fatigue, the form's starting to go away, step back, maybe take a few deep breaths and get back at it. 10 more seconds, guys. Warm up is very important. It prevents injuries and it allowed us to have our full range of motion. Okay, great job. Now let's turn and face this direction and we're gonna come down onto our fingers, walking out into the plank position and we're gonna walk our feet up to our hands. And you just turn, switch directions and go back in the other direction. This is a great way to stretch all the muscles on the back side of the body. We're also activating the core. We're starting to get things a little bit, the difficulty is increasing here now. So you might find that your body temperature is increasing, that's good. You should be starting to sweat probably around this point, maybe within a couple more exercises. The difficulty, the complexity is gonna increase. And one of the things you might notice, so Victoria, if you can, let's do a modification, let's do a bent knee modification. So Victoria happens to have great flexibility, but if her flexibility wasn't so good, she's gonna come up like this, she's gonna kinda tuck under, and she's gonna lower down with a bent knee position. That's gonna allow her to get down there on the ground, walk herself out, and she walks her feet up, she'll also do it in a bent knee position. All right, great job, Victoria. Okay, about five more seconds, guys. Let's try to get one more. Okay, now up and standing, we're gonna take a move from Capoeira, okay? We're gonna do the jingo. We're gonna go side to side, so it's like a backward lunge. We bring one hand in front, so yeah, your defending hand up a little bit higher, George, come up in front of the face, and we go side to side. This is a great move, develop fluidity. Basically, it's a backward lunge. We go side to side, and Capoeira has some very effective techniques, and this is when the base moves of Capoeira. I'm sure none of us are very good at it, but still a fun exercise, and it's a great variation of a lunge. Capoeira, it's a martial art from Brazil. It's also a style of dancing. Yeah, and this is one of their base motions. It's a great way to warm up the body. Moving back and forth, we have the coordination here. We're lunging back with one leg, then back with the other. About 10 more seconds to go here, and then we're gonna do our walkout push-up. So five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now here, shoulder with stance. We're gonna lower down, squatting. We're gonna walk out into the full push-up position. Hands underneath the shoulders, lower down, then come back up. Try to stress getting a full range of motion here. So you squat all the way down, get your hands under the ground, you walk out to get your hands underneath your shoulders. You don't want them far back, you don't want them too far forward. A good alignment, lower down, chest to the deck, press all the way up, then back in the standing. Okay, now we're about halfway into it, guys, so 30 more seconds. 
And you'll notice as when they come back up into the standing position, we want to make sure our heels get on the ground before we stand up. And let's check out Victoria's form here. So if you start to fatigue a little bit, it's okay to lower down your knees. It's also okay to restrict your range of motion if necessary. If you can't lower all the way down, what you don't want to have happen is lead with your head or collapse in the core. You want to keep the core activated at all times, maintain good alignment, ear, shoulder, hip, knee, ankle. Okay, now back in the standing, guys. We're going to come here, feet together, and lateral lunges going side to side. Try to imagine your feet are running down parallel lines here. We don't want our toes pointing too far out or too far in. When we take our step out too, we want to sit back into our heel. Notice how the trail leg stays straight. The lead leg is a leg that bends. The hands raise up as a counterbalance, and that's also activating the muscles in the shoulders. It's giving us a full body warm up. Remember, functional training is about using all muscles of the body, not just one or two. Halfway there, guys. And if you notice, they're not working at a, at a breakneck speed. The speed is enough to make sure that they're working, but yet, this isn't really a workout yet, this is mirror, it's a warm up. We're just getting the body warm and loose. If you're finding you're out of breath and you're about to pass out, you probably need to slow down a little bit and do a little bit less repetitions. Find your own speed and figure out what works for you. It's Almost important. There, huh? important to make the blood circulate everywhere, in every muscle, in every joint of our body, to prevent injuries. You know, it's very important. Okay, now here in our stance, let's lower it down. We're gonna walk out and we're gonna do our push up with a lateral hold here, okay? So we're gonna come up, a lateral plank. We lower down to the push-up and back out. All right, guys, let's get on it. Walk out, and once you get out into that push-up position, you're gonna maintain that push-up position. So we're all the way down, you open up, you rotate. So notice how they rotate on their feet completely. They rotate, and after they hold a five-second hold, they lower back down. Good. And if you find that a five second hold is not really challenging. Try to hold it 10 seconds. Try to hold 20 seconds. Try to hold 30 seconds. Do the best you can. But five seconds usually does the trick. And the key is you don't want your core to sag. You want to keep your hips up in the air. That's going to activate your obliques. Now, Victoria, when you lower down, if you can't do a knee push up, so lower back down, lower down to your knees. Then you're going to come up and then she raise off your knees. Yeah, so that's totally acceptable. You can lower down to your knees in order to do this. Okay, excellent. Now let's walk back up into the standing position. And that's gonna set you guys up in the perfect position for your air squat, okay? So as you're here, you just wanna lower down, thighs to parallel, hands up as a counterbalance, come back into standing, all the way up, all the way down. Already start breaking a sweat now. That's a good thing. Now if you notice, key things here, their knees aren't going too far forward. The knees initiate the motion, but then they start to sit back and down. They don't round here at the back and collapse to keep themselves up. If you start to collapse, you probably need to shorten your distance, shorten the depth of your squat. You want to push down into your heel, heels. You want to activate all the muscles in the posterior chain, your hamstrings, your glutes. Good core activation, proper alignment of the spine. And there again, you're not trying to do as many reps as possible. You're just trying to do good repetitions, full range of motion. About 15 more seconds. Breathing is very important too. Inhale by the nose, exhale by the mouth. Okay, excellent work. Now, let's walk out here, okay? And as we get down here, we're gonna get in the quadruped position, meaning I want my hands underneath my shoulders and I want my knees underneath my hips. A wide enough base so I have stability, but not too wide. Then I'm gonna go opposite knee to elbow, extend, hold five, four, Three, two, one, then back in. We're gonna stay on the same side. Now stay on the same side, everybody. So you're just gonna switch opposite knee to opposite elbow. Three, two, one. Keep going, in and out. Five, four, three, two, one. Two more times. Five, four, three, two, one. One more time. Five, four, three, two, one. Now let's switch sides. So get your stance in place, drop your base, and go. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Three more. Five, four, three, two, one. Two more. Five, 
four, three, two, one. One more, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent work. Now let's come around to a line position, lying face up, okay? And now we're gonna do our straight up, okay? So we're pulling our toes back towards us, hands are overhead. We're gonna try to sit straight up and touch the ceiling here, okay? And then we're gonna lower right back down, right when the hands touch, right back up. We're gonna finish off with one minute of this, and that will complete our warm up. Remember that this is not a race, this is just a warm up. The importance of this is the form. And it's not the repetition, it's not the number of repetition. It's to be able to break a little bit of sweat and ready to go for a, after, to be ready for a hard workout. That's a very good point, George. And if you notice, George is sweating. Everybody here is sweating. It's, it's a difficult warm up, but yet everybody's able to talk. Everyone's able to still interact. They're not at that point where that, you know, they're filled with lactic acid. We're not working out yet. Just getting everything loose and ready. About 10 more seconds. Five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Great job, everybody. That completes our warm up. And now we're ready to attack the real workout. Congratulations, everyone. Hi everyone, I'm Georges St. Pierre. Welcome to my explosive power training workout. This is a plyometric training designed by my trainer, Eric Owen. What plyometrics are is basically, it's a form of, it's called stretch shortening cycle. So what you're doing is you're basically looking at the muscles like a rubber band, you're stretching it and snapping it back. So although the exercises that we're doing, they might appear to be not so intense on the outside, but once you give them a try, you're gonna realize that we're not doing it in a typical manner, going slow, everything's explosive. So you're gonna see lots of jumping, lots of exploding with motions that are very quick. And we're trying to tap into that stretch shortening cycle so that we can be much more explosive in our training. It's, it looks like uh, you could do a lot more reps, but the whole idea behind this is we want quality reps, not quantity. Okay, the first round is sort of like an extra warm up beyond the warm up that we did. It's lower intensity, priming the body for the other rounds. But the first round is very difficult. So, Let's not waste any more time, guys. Let's go and get started here. Feet together, palms by the side, and jumping jacks. Now the key thing here is just to keep yourself moving and don't go too fast. You're gonna notice throughout this workout that we're taking a little bit of a pause in between a lot of the repetitions. That's to kind of store up our energy and to be able to put more force into each movement. You will feel your calf burning pretty soon, I guarantee. Okay guys, now we're gonna go opening and closing right here. Some people call these seals. It's like you're closing your hands in front of you, then opening up. Nice and wide. And find a pace that's suitable for you. If you have to slow down a little bit, that's okay. Remember, you're not jumping high, it's just quick feet, okay? In and out. George, a little bit wider there if you can. Yes, sir. Try to keep the arms straight, two not bent elbows. Yeah, there you go, good. Okay, and now the crossovers. Crossing over arm and leg. Good. Each one of these rounds is 30 seconds. I'm just going through this circuit one time. Okay, excellent. Okay, about 10 more seconds. Then we're keep pushing go. through, everyone. Almost done, and we change movement. Three, two, one, front and back now. Alternating arms, kind of like the same motion as running. Remember, we're just warming the body up for all the explosive training that's about to come. This is low intensity. Although your heart rate might be going up, the intensity is relatively low. Okay, about five more seconds. Three, two, one, and ice skaters. Touching to the outside of the foot, going side to side. Okay. And Mike, if you can't try to touch down each time, if you guys have to slow down the pace a little bit, that's fine. 
nicely. So try to get those toes pointing straight ahead though. That's it, good. Okay guys, three, two, one, and in the stance, okay? Now we're gonna come here. Now the tempo's gonna slow down a little bit, but we're gonna explode more. So now a jump squat, land, stand, and go again. Don't do too many repetitions, just explosive repetitions. Try to put a cap at about eight repetitions maximum. If you get as little as three to five, that's okay. Okay, five more seconds, guys. Let's try one more rep. Okay, now in stance, alternate bounding. Just like I'm running, but notice how I'm popping off my drive leg. My knee comes up, my counter arm comes up. Explosiveness, guys. Try to reach it up to the sky. This is one thing you'll notice, George has incredible explosive power. And this is the way you get it, plyometric training. It's one of my favorite workouts. Okay, about five more seconds, then we're going right back into the ice skater. Okay, and down to the ice skater now. Remember, reaching to the outside of the foot, that's your base. Nice, guys, about 15 more seconds. I imagine you're probably getting tired at home. That's okay, it's natural. This is low intensity, but you'll find you still fatigue. A lot of lactic acid starts accumulating. Okay, guys, three, two, one. That's right, George. Remember, we don't have to be in a rush on this one. It's more about power and jump squats. <laughs> jump, to touch this guy. land, then drive again. <laughs> so notice, I'm not doing this. I'm actually stopping and then exploding again. That's for a reason. We want to get as much explosive power as we can. Okay, guys, it's two for two more. Good. Like I said, eight repetitions is the max you want to do when you're 30 seconds here. All right, great job. And alternate bounding one more time. This one, you can get a little bit more reps, but you're not in too big of a rush. Good. Excellent, Lisa. Nice, Mike. Okay, guys, let's try to reach for the sky now. Last 15 seconds, try to explode up there. Really get the body ready for what's about to happen. It's gonna start getting intense in round two. Almost Five, done, let's go. Four, Push through three, it. two, one. Time. Okay, guys, excellent job. So that's round one. Woo. As you can see, we, we have the heart rate up, we're sweating, and we're ready to go for round two. Absolutely. How do you feel, George? Feels okay, it's hard. First round sometimes is the hardest one because we have to to catch our, our kind of flush we have lungs, to catch right? our our second wind. And once it's done, we're ready to go again. Okay, guys, here we are now at round two. What we're doing is basically the same as round two in the first strength and endurance workout, but it's a plyo version. So that means we're focusing on less repetitions, more explosion. Okay, it's pretty similar in what we're doing, but everything's explosive. So notice. I'm putting a rep cap of about five repetitions. We're probably gonna keep it at three here because everybody here is pretty explosive. If you're not so explosive, you can do a couple extra reps, but for the most part, try to explode, relax, kind of recharge and ready to go again. Okay, everybody ready? All righty, and go. Jump squats. <clears throat> Land, stand, reset, and go. Rep two. Eesh. Good. Everything right. you got, guys. Everything you got in, the, in those repetitions. And the pause in between is not by accident, guys. Let's get ready and go. Three. <clears throat> okay, get ready. Now we have squat thrust with a tuck jump. Okay, and go. Eesh. Land, relax, recharge. Get ready and go. Eesh. That's it. Notice how high George gets every time he does it. Okay, let's get ready. One more, go. Okay, guys, now lower down, plyo push-up position, okay? Get ready, and go. Excellent. Okay, and back in position. Go. Excellent, and one more. Let's go, explode. Go. Okay, now lower down in the prone position, guys. Now we have the plyo pop-up, okay? Let's go. Belly down, we're gonna pop up. And go, one. Good, back down. And two. Okay, good, back down. And one more, three, go. Okay, now we're gonna put it all together, okay? Plyo burpee, let's go. Starting off with that jump, back, boom. Let's go. 
One. Get ready and go. Two. All right. And last one. Go. Three. Excellent. Okay, guys, shake it out real quick. Let's get ready. Starting over again, our jump squats. Okay, and go. Now, not a tuck jump, George. Just a jump squat, okay? Just a jump squat. And go. One more. And go. Okay, nice. Now, squat thrust with a tuck jump. Okay, you guys ready? And go. That's it. Jump high every time. Okay, go. That's it. Explode. One more. Get ready. And go. All right, down in the push-up position. Let's go, guys. Let's get on it. Three, two, one, explode. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. Okay, prone position. Get ready for the pop-up now, okay? Now it's lying down, lying down, belly down, and go. Pop-up. Good. And back down, guys. And go. Good. One more. And go. Okay, now we have our burpee, okay? Let's go. Starting off with our jump squat, then we come down, and a tuck jump. Go. Yep. And go. That's good, George, but lower down, chest to the ground, okay? And go. Okay, in stance, we have our jump squats, okay? Let's pick it up a little bit now, guys. I know we're getting there. It's getting, getting fatigued. Let's explode. Okay, go, jump, and jump, jump. Okay, squat thrust with a tuck jump. Go. That's it. Go. Go. Okay, get down in that push-up position now. Okay, let's go. Plyo push-ups, and go. And go. Okay, and go. Lying down now, okay? Prone position, let's go. And pop up. That's it, and back down. Get ready, go. All right, and one more. Go. All right, great job, guys. Now let's get ready, all right? This is where we're, we're gonna go. put it all together now, okay? We have a jump squat. We go down, touch our chest, and tuck jump, okay? Let's go, let's go. All right, go. Excellent. Go. Go. You guys are making great time. Let's do two more, okay? Get ready and go. And one more. Let's make it the best one now, okay? Everybody ready? And go. All right, great job. And that's round two. That's kind of the almost the granddaddy of them all. We're taking the most basic motion that we can think of for fight training, vertical to horizontal with all explosion. You pretty much get the same feeling as a, as a grueling round in a fight, huh? Absolutely. When you fight, you need to be, ex to be able to explode at any moment. Especially, for example, when you go for a takedown, for like an attack to the leg, like a double leg takedown. Sometimes you cover up, you strike with the guy, when you're ready, you go for an explosion at a double leg takedown. Same thing right here. Yeah, that was, that was great. And you guys can see George's explosion is pretty impressive. But everybody did a great job. That was excellent. Maybe my explosion is good, but my talking is not very good right now. It's okay. That's, that's what we want. We right want right you now. fatigued. Okay, guys, so let's go and get ready. We're going to get ready for our next round, round three. And we're going to use some light dumbbells here, okay? It doesn't need to be anything heavy. George, why don't you grab those tens, mic tens, let's do piece it. of fives. Okay, guys, now we're going to start off. Remember, it's not about how many repetitions. It's the quality of the repetition, okay? So let's go and get in stance here, all right? I'm going to mimic like I have some dumbbells. We're going to be bouncing. We're going to do our punch press to start. And go. Two. Shooting for five. Three. Four. And five. Okay, good. Now go and lower the dumbbells down by your side. Now, remember, guys, we just take a little break here. You can kind of shake out your shoulders. Kind of hang around there. If you feel that 
doing a jump squat with the dumbbells is going to be a little bit too heavy for you. It's okay. You can drop them down, but I really want you guys to hold those dumbbells, okay, if you can. Let's get ready now, okay? Get in the stance, feet shorter width apart, and jump squat. Land, stand, reset, get ready, and go. Two. Okay, we're going to do five of these, okay? Get ready, and go. Three. Good job, everybody. Okay, let's get ready, and go. Four, excellent. Okay, let's get ready now. Last one, let's make it the most explosive one. Okay, and go. Five, excellent. Okay, let's everybody set down the weights, get them out the way. And we have the low shuffle coming up, all right? It's very important. We want to try to get that thigh parallel and keep it parallel. If you have to raise up, that's okay, but let's try to stay down and go. Ten reps, alternate arms. That's it. Stay down low, George. Down low, lower, lower. Just ten times. Okay, good. Okay, guys. Now, take a few seconds, shake it out, stay loose. And let's grab those dumbbells again, okay? Get ready. We're going to go right back to the punch press. It's important if you work out at home on the, on the floor, make sure you have shoes to reduce the impact while you're jumping. Yeah, we're using nice soft mats here, guys. Okay, let's get ready now. Bouncing and go. Punch. Good. Remember, pop that hip, guys. Two. And three. Let's go through it. And four. Two. At least try to get full rotation there. And five. Two. Excellent, guys. Let's lower down those dumbbells by the side. Shake it out a little bit if you need. Bounce around. Stay loose. Okay. Let's everybody go and get in the stance now. Okay. Remember, we want big explosion. You can shrug as you're coming up. Okay. Let's get ready and go. One. Okay. Kind of get yourself relaxed. Focus, recharge, and go. Two. Okay, get ready and go. Three. Excellent. Okay, two more to go, guys. Let's get ready. Go. Four. Okay, and one more now. Let's get ready. Go. Five. Okay, set the dumbbells down again. We have the low shuffle. Now, guys, let's slow this one down a bit, okay? The last one we took off a little bit too quick. I want tear, tear, tear. I want you to stay there. Stick it, okay? Yes, sir. Ten reps. And go. A little bit slower, George. Slow it down. Stick it. Stick it. There you go. Good. Just ten reps. Okay, excellent. Okay, guys. Doing good. Shake it out a little bit. Let's get ready now, okay? We have our last round coming up here, okay? Okay, let's go. Go and grab your weights. Fives for you, tens for you, George. If you guys feel you need to go down in weight, that's totally acceptable. You don't have to feel you have to stick with the weight. If you start fatigued, no big deal. Okay, let's get the dumbbells up. In proper position, we're bouncing. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Punch. Two. One. Punch. Two. Two. Punch. Two. Three. Explode, guys. We have two more, okay? Punch. Two. Good. Four. Last one. Two. Punch. Good. Five, okay. Dumbbells down by the side. It's okay. No, no, you're keep the dumbbells in hand, George. It's down by your side. Okay, let's get ready now. We have our jump squats, okay? So remember, guys, this is our last set of jump squats here with our dumbbells. Let's really explode. Let's get after it, okay? And jump. One. Get ready. Jump. Two. Good job. Let's get ready now. Jump. Three. Focus the mind. Let's really concentrate. Get ready. Four, go. Yeah, that's it. And the fifth one. Let's go. Really explode, guys. And go. Five. All right. Let's set the dumbbells down. Now, you guys aren't going to like me here, okay? I'm not going to let you off too easy. We're going to push a little bit harder now. So let's get ourselves in position. Now, you can go fast this time, okay, George? The way you've been going. But we have 30 seconds left all the way through, all right? Not for repetitions. This one's the time. Let's go. Get after it, guys. And go. Try to stay low. If you start fatiguing, you have to come up. That's okay. But if you can, try to stay down low down here. 15 seconds. Faster, guys. Speed. 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 Come on, George. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Good job. That was excellent work, everybody. How are you feeling, George? You feeling okay? Whoa. Feel like, uh, like I'm going to die. But it's okay. Yeah. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. That's true. <laughs>
Yeah, you'll find that the, the low shuffle, I actually learned that when I was training in Thailand, a guy named Apade Fairtex is one of the best fighters in Thai boxing a long time ago, and he said that's a great way to increase the power of your kicks. So you might actually find an increase in kicking power because of that. And all these other motions too, the punch press, everything like that, it's all explosive, but it all mimics the movements you see in fighting. It makes you quicker, makes you faster, makes you stronger. The, the key is to be ex able to explode at any moment and during the fight. Yep. No matter if it's at the end of the round, the beginning, if you're tired or not, you, you, you're able to give that extra push. Okay, George, let's go ahead and grab those 30s now. Okay, now we're gonna go a little bit heavier, guys. I think Mike's gonna go some 20s, George's some 30s. We're gonna get ready for our dumbbell power clean, okay? Round four is about to start. So let's go and get in the stance, everybody, okay? Now, in stance, let's go. We're gonna fold over and explode. Clean, good. Stand, lower the weights down. Get ready and clean. Good. It's okay if your feet leave the ground. If you want to keep your feet on the ground, that's all right. Let's get ready and clean. Good. We have two more. Only five reps. Five reps or less. That's the key. Explosion. And go. Good. We have one more here. Let's get ready, guys. And clean. And keep it up. We're going to keep it up top here now. Okay, guys? Everybody up top. We're going to do the push press, all right? So we're just going to dip and explode. Look down as you press up. And go. Press. And there you go. And the reason why we're looking down like that is we're trying to clear out some space in the scapula here, okay? We get a better extension. And go. That's it. We got three more. Go. Good. Tighter elbows there, Lisa. All right. And go. We have one more to go. And go. All right. Great job. Let's set those dumbbells down, okay? And we have our forward bounding with two legs. All right, everybody in position. We're gonna jump in this direction. And go. Distance, rotate, and get ready, go. Okay, rotate, turn around, and go. Excellent, rotate, come around, and go. All right, we have one more to go. Come on, guys, and go. Okay, now get yourself ready. Now, if you have to go down and wait, that's totally acceptable, okay? I don't know how you're feeling, George. You want to grab those 25s there, you can. If you feel good with the 30s, let's go for it again. Remember, guys, just five reps. We're not doing this for the maximum amount of reps per set. We're trying to get the maximum amount of explosion per rep. It's different, okay? That's what makes it plyometric. It makes it explosive. Okay, let's go ahead and get in the stance now. And go. Clean. Good. Down and back over. Clean. Good. Two. Okay. And go. Excellent. Okay, let's do one more. The pull doesn't come from the arm, it comes from the legs, everyone. And go! That's a great cue, George. That's very true. Remember, the arms are just punching forward. And go! Okay, keep them up top now. We have the push press, okay? Legs. And where it's a dip and explode, okay? And go! Try to look down when you press up, George. And go! Okay, good. And go! Two more, and go. Good. And Lisa, try to look down when you press up. Last one, and press. Okay, dumbbells down. Let's get ready for our forward bounding, okay? Okay, so we're going to face this way. Let's get ready on my cue to cover some distance now, okay? We're going to try to jump out, stick that landing, and jump. Stick it, turn, take your time with the turn, and get ready, jump. Good, two. Turn around, face me, and jump. Excellent. Three. Let's turn the other way now. And jump. Four. Okay. Let's turn the face this way one more time and explode, guys. Jump. Excellent. Okay. Let's go and grab our dumbbells. We have one more rotation here, okay? Let's do it. Ugh. Good. Dumbbells by the side. And we're going to fold over. We're going to pop up. Boom. Catch those weights. Okay. Let's go, guys. And number one. Go. One, dumbbells back down, and go. Two, dumbbells down, go. Three, and go. Four, and go. Five, all right, dumbbells up here. All right, get ready, and go. Press. Yeah, look down. Push with the legs. And go. Okay. And go. 
three. We've got two more. Go! Ace. That's it. And go. Ace. All right. Dumbbells down now. Okay, let's get ready. Last set of bounding, right? Let's get after now. We have 20 seconds. Let's go. And jump. Turn. Face the other way. Jump. Good. Turn and face. Jump. Excellent. Turn. Face the other way. Go. Last one facing me. And go. Excellent. All right, guys. Right at the buzzer. That was five minutes. Excellent work. How you feeling, George? Feels like I'm in the championship round right now. Oh yeah, that's what you, that's what you guys need. There's nothing easy, it doesn't come easy, but there's, the result will be there at the end. Now if you guys noticed, when we were doing that workout, he's not doing necessarily a lot of repetitions, but it's how he's doing the repetition. You can see there's genuine fatigue on everyone's face. This is, this is the real deal. And you have to remember that we don't want you just going like this when you're doing your jump squats. We want that explosion, but obviously, you're not going to cover as much distance as George, most likely. If you can, that's great, but just do your best. Okay, guys, now what we're going to do in round number five coming up is we're going to combine the first two motions of round number four. We're going to do a power clean and then a push press, okay, and two new exercises. So let's go and grab those dumbbells, get ready. So we're going to combine those motions. If you want, you can pause at the top and then hit your push press or do it all together. But guys, when I say one, that means do the whole thing, but work at your own tempo, okay? Let's get ready and go. <clears throat> Good one. And down. And go. <clears throat> two. Good. At least try to look down when you hit your push press. And go. <clears throat> Three. Good. Okay, let's get ready and go. Four. Great job. Push with the legs, everyone. Yeah, use those legs. Okay, and last one, number five. Go. Okay. Yeah. Let's go set our dumbbells down. We want to squat those dumbbells down. We don't want to just bend over. We actually want to put them on the mat, okay? All right, let's go and get ready now. In our stance here, we have our fencers lunge and go. Lunge. We're going to turn, face the other way. Go. Face the other way and go. Face the other way. Go. Good. Turn and face. Go. That's five. Five more. Go. Good. And go. This is good when you're, it's time to go. blitz the guy. Yep, exactly. It's like the blitz. And go. Take down, blitz, everything. And go. Two more. And go. And one more. Go. Okay, now we have our lateral bounding, all right? Trying to cover height and distance side to side, stabilizing on one leg. Let's get ready and go. Side to side. Work at your own tempo here, okay? Try to go side to side. Stick the landing. You can kick the leg behind or you can touch your leg. Just 10 repetitions, guys. Yeah. Okay, good job. Now take a little break, shake it out. Get your body and your mind regrouped for what's about to happen. Okay, everybody feel okay? All right, let's go ahead and grab those dumbbells again. And remember, you can do a pause at the top, then push press, or you can do it all together. I don't mind, okay, either way. Let's get ready. Go! Yes. One, lower down, and go! Yeah. Two, good, and go! Yeah. That's it. You have two more repetitions, okay? Go! Yeah. Okay, and guys, let's try to get a little bit more over the weights, okay? So we really extend that hip, and go! Yeah. All right, good. Dumbbells down, and getting stance for your fencer's lunge, okay? So we're facing this way, facing out towards the bags over there, Pushing off the left leg and go. Lunge, turn, face, go. Two, go. Three, go. Four, go. Five, go. Six, go. Seven, three more, go. Eight, go. Nine, go. Ten, okay guys. And we have our lateral bounding, all right? So here in position, work at your own pace, 10 repetitions. So it's one, two, three, like that. And go. Okay, excellent.
excellent work. Hey, buddy, relax, shake it out. One more round. Yeah. This is a difficult circuit, okay? So let's go ahead and get ready now. Let's bring, finish strong, everyone. Let's go. Let's bring those dumbbells up. Everything you got on this one. Like your life is depending See guys, on I want, I'm noticing that what's happening is that we're getting a little bit too vertical on our clean. Let's try to get a little bit more over when we start, okay? Really release that hip. Catch and stand, okay? So each time we want to get the chest over the legs. All right? Get ready and go. Ease. Good. Go. Ease. Two. Go. Ease. Three. Notice how George is letting out that air. That's, that's natural. That's good. Don't be afraid to do that at home, okay? Get ready and go. Four, we have one more, okay guys? Let's Everything focus. You got. Everybody ready? This is our last clean and press. And go! Yeah! All right, good job. Set those dumbbells down. We're gonna get in position for our fencer's lunge, okay? Remember, we wanna go across the mat, not up, we wanna go across. And go! Good, turn face, go! Two, go! Three, go! Four, go! Five, Go! Six. Go! Seven. Go! Eight. Go! Nine. One more. Go! And okay, guys. Now in position. This is our last exercise, okay? We're gonna go back and forth. Stick it. Back and forth. Okay? Everybody ready? And go! Ten reps. Really explode. Come on, George. More distance, buddy. Three, two, one. Time. All righty, great job. And that, that's it. That's round number five. It was a great job. Everybody putting a lot of work. And I'm sure if you're at home, if you did even half of what they did, you're probably dead tired right now, and that's good. Now, what you have to remember is that the whole idea behind this, remember, I, could, I said in the beginning, I'll say it again. You're focusing on doing things very explosively. It's the quality of the repetition, not the quantity, okay? So you wanna make sure that as you're doing this, you're putting in an honest effort because if you just cheat your way through it and go nice and easy and don't really explode when you hit those reps, you're not gonna get the effect that you're looking for. And that's pretty much all I can tell you is that this is intensity, pure intensity. This is what you wanna do. You wanna give it your all. You wanna be feel at the end that you can't do anything else. And maybe the cool down and that's it. And the cool down, you're probably gonna be like, you know, thankful that you even made it that far. Yeah, th this exercise, you don't have to pace yourself at all. You let it all out, all out from the beginning to the end, all right? It's not an endurance workout. This is made to improve your explosiveness. That's why it's designed for, that's why Eric designed this exercise for. So it's important, maximum and intensity from the beginning until the end. What do you think, George? Everyone can be uh, proud of yourself. If you achieve this, congratulate yourself. And tell you if you did great today, tomorrow you'll do even better. Excellent job. Super everyone, great job. Just finished our workout. Now it's time for the cool down. Right, the cool down, it's very important. We're not gonna do a long cool down sequence, but the exercises, they're pretty much what they're doing is resetting your neuromuscular system so that you can go back into your daily life without having your muscles cramp and tighten up. We're really gonna stress a lot of the muscles around our hips, okay? That's where we did a lot of work. Also our lats, our shoulders, our chest, pretty much the whole body, but we're gonna do the most effective stretches that we can do in the shortest amount of time. This routine should take no more than five minutes, five, six minutes, okay? So let's go ahead and start down here on our left knee, right knee up, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna stretch the hip flexor. So I'm gonna contract my abdominal muscles, trying to tuck my glutes right up here up underneath me, trying to tilt my pelvis under. Then I'm gonna reach my left arm straight up in the air, fingertips pointing out towards the left. And I should feel the stretch coming right in here. Now we just wanna lift our chin up while maintaining this contraction, all right? Looking straight ahead, contracting in the abdominals, glutes, stretches right up here in the front. If the arm goes forward, because you have tight lats, try to force it up there in the air, okay? We have about 10 more seconds, so just hang in there. Good. Really, really feel the, the hip flexor the hip stretching flexor. here. Exactly. Okay, great. Now we're going to come up. We're going to turn, face the other way, lower down to the right knee. Take your time here now, okay? Let's go ahead and set everything in position. So we're going to contract the abdominals, 
and the glutes and press straight up. And we're holding here for 30 seconds. Now 30 seconds is pretty much the minimum here. We, we just wanna do at least 30 seconds to make sure we, you know, we stretch out the body. But if you find you're enjoying this, don't be afraid to go back through this routine, you know, do it one more time, two more times, as much as you want. These are great stretches. You really can't get enough of these. There is a lot of benefit to gain from stretching. Okay. Now let's come up here. Now you can do a butterfly stretch, which Patrick is going to demonstrate, or you can just lower right down here into the side straddle. Everybody's flexibility is different, but if possible, we just want to try to spread our legs out here, keep the posture upright, then we want to go forward. You see the variation that Patrick's doing is working the same muscles. We're trying to stretch out the adductor muscles right here in our inner thigh, okay? What I'm trying to do is I'm basically just pushing out, so is George, and we're trying to go forward. If we can, we want to lie down flat here. Again, holding each stretch for 30 seconds. I remember when I used to be a kid, I used to go all the way down. Now as I'm growing up, getting older, it's, not, it's impossible to do the same thing because I didn't practice enough. Okay, good. Now let's close up here. Legs straight ahead. Now what we want to do, remember, we just don't want to touch our toes. We want to pull our toes back towards us, contract our quadriceps, sit nice and upright, fingertips pointing down. We're pushing forward with the heel of our palm. If you find that to be too difficult by going forward like this and you just, it's way too much, you can just do this. Just brace your hands right here by your hips, push up, try to keep your posture upright, still pulling your toes back, still contracting your quadriceps, and just trying to eventually lean forward. Once you can break 90 degrees going forward, you can probably take your hands off and push forward. Really good for the posterior chain. Exactly. So Hamstring, calf, lower back, this is what you need to do. Okay, now let's turn to our right. I'm gonna kick my left leg around here, bring my right leg in. Now if you notice, I stick my knee straight out from my hip and I form a 90 degree angle here, a 90 degree angle here. Now what I wanna do is I wanna try to go forward, put my head all the way down to the ground. Everybody has a different flexibility level though, so the key thing is, is to try to lean towards your left on the stretch. If your left leg's back, lean towards your left, even if you have to stay upright. If you can lower down all the way, that's great. If you're right here, that's fine. This is for the extensors. This is for the muscles on the outside of the hip. We have a lot of jumping, kicking, all those motions. We've really worked those muscles. Pretty much anything functional, you're using the extensors and the flexors. And now let's rotate around. So this is kind of cool. We're gonna Lean to our right and swing to our left and we come right back this way. Take your time getting into position though. So again, you want your left knee in front of your left hip. You want to try to create a 90 degree angle here, a 90 degree angle here. And same thing, try to lie forward. And if you have to, there's, you don't have to push forward. Remember, you don't want to feel any type of tearing or real strong pulling, just a slight pull in the muscles. And the muscles that we're trying to feel are the muscles right outside here, okay? Some people might feel it a little bit up in the back, you shouldn't be feeling it all over. Some people might feel a little bit of hamstring. For the most part, you want to feel it on the outer part of your left hip here. And then lie down. Always a side that you're, that you're more flexible than the other. That is completely normal. Okay, now we're just gonna kick back and through under this, so we're in the quadruped position. So if you notice, we start out here with our knees right underneath our hips, right? And what we're going to do when our hands are underneath our shoulders, we're just in a strong foundation. We're going to extend our right hand forward then our left hand forward. Now what I want you to do is drop your butt back while keeping your fingertips out there. Trying to touch your butt to your heels and trying to get your armpits down to the ground. Once you do that, you're trying to inch your fingertips away as much as you can. And when we're doing this, we want to feel the stretch coming right down throughout the lats, okay? Some people find that they spread their knees out here. They also get a adductor stretch here as well, that's, that's good. You just, you know, you get more flexibility in an area. I happen to have loose adductors, so I don't feel anything in the adductors, but I have tight lats. So this really stretches my lats every time. You're really lucky. Me, I'm tight pretty much everywhere. <laughs> okay, guys, great. Now we're going to come up here into this kneeling position, and what we want to do is we want to put our knees together, our heels together, and we want to sit back here under our butt. 
we're gonna interlace our fingers behind our back here. The most important thing is that I start to straighten my arms. That's more important than how high they get, is that first they get straight, then I retract my shoulder blades, meaning I try to pull my shoulder blades together. Once I do that, I raise up as high as I can, and I wanna feel stretched throughout my biceps, my deltoids, my pectoral muscles, all of that. And there's almost an infinite amount of stretches, but we, we don't wanna spend all day stretching. You guys just did a hard workout, so we just wanna you know, hit some of the ones that really get the body back to where it was before you did your workout. Good, Patrick. You know, George is very tight here, so this is a great stretch for him. Absolutely. Everybody else has good flexibility. I should, I should do this stretch more often. Don't be scared that if you do something that you're not good at, that's when you need to work on it. Like you can see this stretch, it's, I'm pretty bad at it. That is something that I should put more time into. Okay, buddy, that's time and that concludes our cool down. So you have to remember that the cool down, although it seems like it's easy and it's almost like it's the part of the workout everybody wants to forget to do. We did all the hard stuff, you know, we warm up because we want to get ready for the hard workout. Then we do the cool down, but sometimes we forget to do it. Remember, don't forget the cool down. It's actually, it's going to allow you, to, it's going to help you to recover and to come back so you can be consistent and work out on a regular basis. It's very important that you do all parts of the workout and you try to be as consistent as possible because that's what leads to progress. If you just, you know, come in on occasion and you like do like maybe a round or two and then, you know, you skip a few days, then you're not gonna see the results that you're looking for. The results are gonna come through consistency. That's the most important thing. And the consistency is given to you by allowing your body to recover properly, which is why we do the cool down. Uh, and, and also the cool down is not only physical. For me, I use the cool down as, as a way to change my mind I start from being the athlete, George St. Pierre, the fighter. When I work, when I, when I work out, I'm, I'm, a, I'm the fighter. I'm a martial artist. But the cool down allowed me to make the transition by being the fighter to the everyday normal guy. So it's more than an actual workout. It's also the, the changing of your mind, putting your mind back into what it should be in everyday's life. Great job, everybody.